Magi chapter, Magi the Labyrinth of Magic chapter 199. That's right. We're moving right along. <laughs> now this chapter um was released yesterday. So if you haven't checked it out, yeah, please go check that out. Let's do this. In this review of Magi the Labyrinth of Magic chapter 199, we have a kind of chill, lax, revived, you know, it was some epic, you know, it's been some intense stuff this last arc. We start off a new arc and things, you know, things are just moving along. We we're introduced Aladdin back to his original old school threads. I'm loving that. I'm digging it once again you know that 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 magician's uniform got to go you know it it, it was getting tiresome gotta go so back to the original thing once again i forget I, I don't know what happened to his turban i really don't i don't know what happened to the flying turban what, what's up with that but you know that's that's a little thing whatever we see him writing up in his his diary who knew he kept a diary so we see him writing in the diary telling uh to ugo kun you know ugo and he's telling him, um, you know, about the progress. A little short thing. He kind of gets interrupted. But um, he told us a couple things. He said, Magno Stott, right now. Oh, some big, big things. Big things. Number one, Magno Stott is thoroughly getting rebuilt. Number two, the whole um, citizen authorization levels yeah those are gone no surprise right the yeah number three the people the goy they are now becoming less dependent on magic you know they got they're getting on with their lives they quit being bums okay they're doing what they gotta do which is another beneficial thing number four huge play on this one number four is magno stock currently is remaining neutral between Reem, the Reem Empire, and the Co Empire. Huge. And Aladdin's like, you know, along with that, the Seven Seas Alliance, as long as they, you know, they, but they're still playing up in there. So Magno Stop may eventually side, you know, ally itself with the Reem, with Reem. So we'll see what happens there. And as Aladdin's writing all this down and whatnot, um, Alibaba's like, hey, yo, him and him more, him and more, more Gianna come up in there, and they're like, Aladdin, guess what? We help. Where are they? They've returned to the Sindria Kingdom. Okay, I was not exactly expecting that, but fine for now, fine for now. We'll see what happens because we got a lot. We had a lot of tension, but considering all of it, I mean, I was like, yo, are they going to dark? I'm like, what? What are they going? Sindri, or they return to Sindri, and I understand it, you know, they're old masters, and, you know, they still cool, they still cool with Sinbad and everything, so, yeah, we see, uh, <laughs> Pisty, she's like, you know, Aladdin, you know, oh, you ain't changed that much, you get, and then, uh, the, one of the, one of the eight germs, like, yo, look again, he's got, <laughs> I just got told to Pisty, that depressed, sad face was, oh, man, classic comedy goal, classic comedy goal, um, we see, um, we see Jafar, Musrar, and we see Sinbad, and Sinbad's talking to, um, to Alibaba, he's like, yo, my bad for having left you and Yam Raihai, you know, the magician that was the mentor of Aladdin, Yam, um, sorry I had to leave y'all, I've been prepping for this, um, this summons, and that, that was number five, I meant to mention, that was the number five, fifth point, that big play, big play number two, that Aladdin mentioned in, uh, the diary letters to Ugo, okay, he said, Uncle Cohen and Uncle, uh, Sinbad, I'm going to, um, you know, there's going to be a summit, and I believe he said two months, and... We're going to talk about Amatoron and some other important stuff. You know, where do we go from here, the progression and all that. So, that's what Sinbad was talking about. And he's like, yo. I mean, there's two ways you can look at this. When when Sinbad said this. He said, number one, you know, I left you and Ryan to talk about that. He said he's prepping for the summit. So, like, whoa. This is serious business, ladies and gentlemen. Big, subtle, but big. Huge play, actually. Huge play. 
But also the second part. Sinbad, we know his charisma. We know his shadiness. He is staying a bit laissez-faire hands off. So I like that. I like that. At least for now. We'll see what happens as the manga progresses. The story progresses. Right? So, you know, Eric, they're meeting up with the eight generals. We see the Dracon and all, all the folk. And Alibaba's like, yo, uh, where my mask at? And all of a sudden, we hear we hear some. We see this dude, and I didn't recognize him. I, I had the same reaction, and, and it was Oba. Y'all remember the dude back with uh when Hakuryu was with um, I think they had the dungeon capture when Hakuryu uh captured the dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, remember the Great Mother? Yeah, them the followers of Great Mother. Remember they they uh ran Hakuryu uh at, off. <laughs> executed uh great mother and and them folk well them folk i had forgotten they had when um went under Sindria's protection right and so this dude here that little midget, dude's grown up he went on a kobe growth spurt and that's a that's a one piece illusion reference ladies and gentlemen go check it out so this dude the, the, i think he's now taller than alibaba like Alibaba's not a giant, but still, like, whoa, what, what happened? Like, yo, it's been that long? Has it been like a year? I don't know what the time frame has been. So, hey, it's manga. What do you expect? <laughs> it's showing a manga. And so, you know, we see him. His personality's changed quite a bit. And Alibaba's wondering and, and all this. Like, uh, and then <laughs> we see, yo, I was glad to see her again. Toto. Y'all remember that gladiator? And she looks a bit different, too. Y'all remember that gladiator chick that Alibaba, you know, first met in Reem? Yeah, her. I, I knew, you know, them two, they was going to have an interesting relationship. So, we we can see the party and Shauna. <laughs> that dude is a clown, man. That dude is such a clown, bro. So, Shauna... You know, Alibaba's master. Apparently, he became the master of a uh, of a uh, Oba, which explains why Oba's personality, character, you know, all that done changed quite a bit. So he comes in with two women, uh, like oh jeez, oh such such Sinbad. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely what a Sinbad dudes. So you know, we their party, and you know how they do in in Sindria. It's always party. It's party, party, party. Let's all. Go. And so, um, the party and everything, and <laughs> Shana was talking all this mess, yo. He, uh, he's like, yo, Ms. oh, oh, um, uh, Sinbad actually mentioned, you know, Morgiana, hey, Ms. Ryan, hey, 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 Morgiana, she, uh, <laughs> done grown up to a beautiful woman now, ain't she? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know how Ms. Raw do, you know how them fanalists do. <laughs> but Shana was like, Alibaba, yo, you became a man over in the ring. Y'all know what he was talking about. Talk about that sex life. Yeah, y'all already know. If you didn't, I'm just telling you. Talk about that sex life. So, <laughs> Alibaba's all kind of embarrassed, but he's like, bro, yo, yo, you don't want her to hear. Like, yo, we trying to cover his backside. And he's like, yo, we can't, we can't be saying that around him, man. And <laughs> all of a sudden, we see Toto get his look. <laughs> he's like, yo, and Alibaba like, yo, yo. It's all good. It's all good. And and now looking at like everybody, everybody looking like what the, what the blood clot. Uh, and Aladdin did ask about what uh what Chanel meant. He's like, yo, you too young for that. Oh, and Moose Raw's talk about uh you know Moose Raw did say y'all y'all need to not be talking about that kind of mess in front of Morgiana. So <laughs> Alibaba is like. Uh, you know, he's he's trying to defuse situation, and Shannon, you know, <laughs> over oh my goodness, over in this chapter of comedy, but uh, Shannon, you know, he asked the all important question, yo, Alibaba, did you get a girlfriend in ring? And Alibaba, well, uh, uh, yes, yeah, that one, yes, like everybody. <laughs> Shout out with joking, but that that girlfriend, everybody, and then Morgiana. That's my thumbnail. Like that that last Morgiana, Morgiana, showing instead of stoic shock. 
Yo, I gotta say this. I gotta say this. Uh, I was wondering if this kind of storyline was gonna happen. I kind of busted on it, but I was wondering. I gotta say, you know, if it came down no fight, I got more Gianna. I, I don't care. Toto, like, her gladiator skill, she, she beastly. She can hold on. But if it comes down to, yo, Morgiana's kicks, Morgiana's just that beastly. And she has the household vessel. Now, maybe Toto's upgraded, too. That's going to be an excellent clash. But we'll see where this goes. You know, we know, even though it's subtle, we know how Morgiana feels about Alibaba. They done had some interesting, you know, they, they homegirl, homeboy, they homies. You know, they've had some, some interesting travel journeys together. So, so we'll see. Overall, you know, even though it seems I'm very light in this uh in this review, it's a very simple chapter of Mad John. Overall, I give it a 5.5. Okay. It was an eye chapter. It really was. Reading through this, it was an eye chapter. I mean, I'm not asking for epic stuff. It did have the plot progression was there. Um character development. We saw some it was a reunited, some setup here, you know. It was a really light chapter, you know, but it was it was an above average chapter of anything, really though. I mean, after all that's been going on, and then we transition. I'm, I'm not hating. It, it was a fine chapter. It was an all right chapter, but it wasn't nothing special. You know what I'm saying? Nothing to write home about. We did get some some big, you know, huge points coming up, but you know, those weren't set up. So we'll see where it goes. We've returned to Sandria, and I'm the unexpected one. To like, comment, subscribe. Tell me y'all thoughts, yo. <laughs> Alibaba and Toto, who called it? Who called it? We'll see how that develops, you know. We'll see what, you know, Aladdin, we'll, we'll just see. There's a lot of we'll see. We're still, we still got a lot of questions left unanswered. And we've returned to Sandria. Why? Hmm. Leave you with that. All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day. Peace.